Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to Moto Monday number nine. And of course, you're probably already wondering, wow, that's right, I got a microphone, so my videos won't be completely boring, as I have been told. But, uh, welcome back to the channel. That's right, it has been almost a month since I've uploaded a video. Uh, sorry about that, but I've been waiting on this microphone to come in so I can film the first video of the new year with the microphone. And I hope you guys like this new edition. But uh, another big change for the new year was a name change. And before, my YouTube channel's name was just King. That was the name. And I've been wanting to change it uh, to something moto related just because that's what I do. Uh, but I couldn't come up with anything good. And then I came up with Moto King. And just hit me one day. I'm like, hey. I'm the Moto King. <laughs> Just joking around, and then I'm like, hey, I can change my YouTube channel's name to Moto King. So that's why the name is now Moto King. That's some Blue Rock. Don't go there. Blue Rock could take you down like that. You'd just be riding, you hit some front braking for a turn, and you'd just be kissing the road, and you won't know what happened. You never see it coming. And you'll never see me coming. I can't wait for winter time to be over because one, it's cold to ride. Two, there's no racing. No racing. March 3rd is the Qatar GP. I'm super excited for the racing season to start, especially Moto GP. Moto America is having big changes because you don't know, for the last 40 years, Yoshimura has been the sponsor for the Suzuki racing team. And that team has such great wealth. Uh, they had two great riders this last two years, Tony Elias and uh, Josh Heron. And I actually had the honor of meeting Josh Heron at the Moto GP Moto America races last year, but that was really cool. But besides the point, they had a really good team and two really good racers, and Yoshimura was like, nope, we're done. I really don't know the whole story of that, but yeah, they're done being uh, Suzuki's sponsor, and that whole racing team just went, gar it's gone. The racing team doesn't exist anymore. Which is unfortunate, but um, Tony Elias is already guaranteed a spot with Team Hammer, which is the new Suzuki team. Well, it's not really a new team. I, I, I guess it's a new team. It's the new team for Motor America for the 2020 season. Ekastar. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. E C A S T A R. Ekastar. Anyways, Ekastar is the new sponsor. That's the same sponsor for the MotoGP Suzuki team, which um, Alex Renz and uh, I can't remember the other rider's name. He raced for. He was a rookie last year, uh, but yeah, he was pretty good. Alex Renz got his first GP victory at. MotoGP round in Austin last year. Thought I heard a dog. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Josh Heron, I really hope he signs uh, with Suzuki, but you know, he has been a Yamaha guy. He's been a Yamaha guy pretty much his whole life besides this last season. So, you know, I don't know if he'll uh, sign with Suzuki, but I hope he does. He did pretty good. He won round two at Coda. So last year at Coda, the Moto GP race, Alex Renz won for Suzuki, Ekastar Suzuki in Moto GP. And then for Moto America, round one on Saturday, um, Tony Elias won for Yoshimura Suzuki. And then on Sunday for round two, Josh Heron won for the same team. So it was a Suzuki sweep, which, uh, I thought it was really cool. 
But I'm really, I'm really excited for MotoGP this year. A lot of cool things are happening. Alex Marquez, um, which is Mark Marquez's little brother, he is 23 years old, I believe, and uh, he's moving. He's making the jump from Moto2 to MotoGP, the premier class this year, which is going to be really cool. Uh, oh, there, that's a deer. Those things will take you out too. Um, but it's really cool because you know Jorge Lorenzo retired, which he's a legend out himself, and best of luck in retirement. But we're gonna go off road. But uh, Alex Marquez took his. Well, he's not taking his spot. He is his successor for that spot on the Repsol Honda team. But it, the cool factor is, is that him and his older brother Mark are going to be in the same racing team, which I just find incredible, and that's unheard of. It, it's uh, very unusual that two brothers are on the same racing team together. It's very unheard of that two brothers race, both of them. Uh, the Hayden brothers did it, uh, Nikki and Roger, they both raced. They never raced at the same time, and Roger never got to MotoGP. Or Nicky, you know, he was the 06, 2006 Moto GP champion, world champion. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just super cool. Super, super cool. We're going to go this way. Pine Strike. You got Why does my thing keep shifting gears? But Pine Straw leaves, you know, you got to look out for that kind of stuff. Um, they'll take you down too. Uh, roots are just, they're not fun to ride over. Um, but yeah, MotoGP, you know, they changed up their schedule for this year. Um, for the last few years, as long as I can remember, they did Qatar GP at LaSalle International Circuit. Then they went to Argentina, and I can't remember the name of the circuit that raced out there. They went to Argentina to race. Then they went to Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. And then they went to uh, France? Or was it Hera, Spain? Hrothes, Hera's, Hera's Spain they went to. I can't remember. Thing keeps fogging up. All this cold air. But, uh... This year, to get my point, this year, they're going to Qatar at the Lucille National International Circuit to start. Then they're going to Thailand, which they usually do towards the end of the year. They're going to Thailand. And then they're going to Dakota and Austin, and then they're going to Argentina. So it's going to be really cool this year to see um, it in this and uh, Finland. We're, it's the first ever Finnish GP. I'm really excited for that because I, I looked at the track, and uh, you can go and look at it online. Uh, but it, it's a really cool track, and I'm really excited to see. Um, their top speed for that track, you know, or the fastest lap time for that track. Because, I mean, it, it's, it looks cool. Ooh, that's a big brute. Mm. But it looks really cool, and I'm really excited for um, just racing season in general. And we're about to get to that awkward time where there's no NFL football, no MLB baseball, and no MotoGP racing. And, mmm, it's not fun. By the way, congratulations to the San Francisco 49ers and the Kansas City Chiefs on winning their respective conferences and moving on to the Super Bowl in Miami. And man, my lens keeps fogging up and it's bugging me. But uh, yeah, it's getting pretty dark, so it's really cold too. My heated grips, they're awesome. Love heated grips. Had them on this bike for, I don't know, a year now, yeah, a year now, and I love them, love them a lot. Uh, and if you did not notice, that is a new sticker, the new GoPro sticker. Um, just you know, I saw an empty spot on my bike, and I'm like, huh, I got this GoPro sticker. I should stick it right there. So I did, and I like it, and I love it a lot. Uh, but yeah, you know, I guess this is the end of Moto Monday episode nine, and I'm gonna try to get on a more consistent upload schedule and upload more videos instead of just the once a week Mo Moto Monday. 
So stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and peace.